Well, the, I, I would just start off with agreeing with Helen that, it, that it's really everything. It's the couple's dream. Mm -hmm. It's what's, another put it, it's the missing piece in most couples' relationships, which is why they show up for therapy. They, they, they've lost it somewhere, and they think it's somewhere that can be found, and they think therapists are the door to possibly mm -hmm. getting intimacy. And <clears throat> that if you define intimacy, there's a sort of popular definition as into me see. Um, mm -hmm. which I think is both popular and also uh, rather profound because uh, what it means is vulnerability mm -hmm. that I am, will open my my uh, defenses, let down my guard, uh, will let you see me and when that's um, when that's mutual, that seems to be what human beings uh, intuitively um, feel that they are. That is that 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 experience of of a mutual into me seeing of mm -hmm. is is what we are. And Helen and I have uh, have uh, created some language uh, because intimacy is is such it's sort of like love. It's such a, an overused word that we've created a language called connecting. Mm -hmm. That intimacy is connecting, and connecting is is when there is some sense of flow of the energy and information and kind of an oscillation back and forth between two people. And that flow um, uh, happens uh, in if certain conditions exist. And one of the conditions that is uh, non-negotiable is that um, the, uh, the context is, uh, is safe. Mm -hmm. and, and Helen, uh, years ago, brought to our conversation about Imago from Martin Buber the concept of the, the space between. And yeah. um, 